Hello and welcome back to Seton Hall Pirate Television's uh, post-game coverage of the men's basketball team. We just saw the Pirates have a devastating loss to the UConn Huskies, 69-58. to During their senior night, which as all else was just a terrible loss for them, I'm Megan Gonzalez here as always with the amazing Ashley Silver. Ash, we just watched the game. What did you think of that first half? I thought the first half was really great. It ended up being heartbreak for the Hall, unfortunately. But the Hall started out really strong. The Pirates had a 7 0 tear in the first three minutes. And they came out really strong in the beginning of the half and then went into halftime down by one. So everyone had high hopes, thinking, okay, this is going to be competitive Big East play. There are some standouts. You know, Jared Roden was leading the Pirates with scoring. Mamu was doing great, continued to, but the Pirates ultimately fell flat. Yeah, I totally agree. I think they came out really hot. They were um, electric at the beginning. We had Mamu with 11 points, Rodin, or Rodin with 11, and Mamu with 8 at the beginning of the first half. And they just came out hot. And then they had a low where there was about four minutes where there was no score. And I would say then they ended the half only down by one. So there was still a really good shot that the Pirates had. But as we saw, the second half was not what we expected. Ash, what do you think of the second half? Second half was really devastating, I think, for those seniors. And for the Pirates, that in total, um, they just really fell flat. And the scoring, though, kind of stayed the same. Like, those Pirates kept on track with the scoring that they did have from the first half. But UConn really pushed through. Sonogo was explosive for them, scoring 16 points in the whole game. Whaley led them with 17 points. And then Coley had 14. Um, but where UConn really pushed through is they were 94% from the line, whereas the Hall was 64%. You know, when in games like this, you know, at the line it makes a difference when you make those free throws and when you don't. And then from the three, um, UConn was at 33% and the Hall was at 26%. So those little stats like that really make the difference and it showed what was lost, unfortunately. Yeah, I agree. I think the Huskies came out very explosive. They started right off the bat. They scored a lot at the beginning while the Pirates honestly fell very flat. I would expect a difference between for them because I feel like with the Pirates, they normally stand out during the second half and that's always within the last few minutes. They really just come to play and that's when they decide they really just want to put in all their effort toward that game. And I feel like we really didn't see that. This second half, they were just very yeah. flat. They, uh, they put up a good 25 minutes and I, then I think in the last 15, they really did fall flat. Um, in the second half, the Hall did not lead even once, whereas UConn's largest lead was 13 points. Whereas in the first half, they were really going strong the Hall. And then again, I guess maybe got too comfortable or just didn't have that last in them to finish strong. Yeah, very tough loss. Like we said, it was a senior night honoring our four seniors. And this was just definitely not the outcome that they were hoping for. Um, as we go on, the Pirates will play their next game against St. John on Saturday. But before we talk about that game, I just want to ask Ash, heading forward, we have the Big East Tournament coming up. What do you think the Pirates' chances are for that? So, if they do beat St. John's this weekend, they will still get a bye for that first round in the Big East Tournament. You know, the Pirates love MSG, and now that fans are going to be back there too, at a different capacity, hopefully they thrive off of that. I've seen many times the Pirates come out very victorious at the Guardian, and hopefully they continue that. Um, no matter what, the Big East tournament will be electric and it'll be great, so we'll see how they perform, how UConn performs. I believe they have one more game left, too, their senior night next weekend. So we'll see. I mean, we're in kind of similar positions, both teams, in that top three for the Big East, and then questionable um, tournament hopes for the NCAA. So we'll see how that all goes. Yeah, I feel like every year the Big East tournament really just the underdogs who come out to play and you never expect it. It's really just the unknown, so we never know what's going to happen at that tournament. Also, while we're talking about tournaments, it's March, so of course the March Madness tournament is coming up, and Seton Hall is on the cusp of making it. What do you think their chances are? How's it looking? Yeah, as I was saying earlier, if they have a great tear in the Big East tournament and then come out on top, we automatically get right into that tournament, and that would be awesome. The last couple of years, the Hall has made it in, so it would be really upsetting for the senior class to not make it to March Madness, even if it doesn't take place in March this year, but the NCAA as a whole. So we'll just have to see. Big East play, I think, will determine their outcome for NCAA. Yeah, I think that will be a great factor in determining how they're going to be, how they're going to come to play, basically, like you were saying. Well, that's all the time we have. Once again, I'm Megan Zollis here with Ashley Stepper. Don't forget to tune into the Pirates playing St. John's on Saturday at 7 p.m. That's all for us. Go Pirates!